Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my this particular video, I am going to discuss how we can implement or write a program to train our knife Bayesian model. Okay, and that is going to be very simple, remembering the function. So as you know, for KNN, we have used fit C KNN. Okay, for SVM, we have used fit c svm okay right so for decision tree we have used fit c tree for regression we have used fit r tree like this so see all the functions has its own pattern okay fit that means some model we are going to train c for classification r for regression right and the next one is the algorithm name like knn for knrs never svm for support vector machine tree for decision tree right then here r tree for regression tree similarly fit r svm is also present for uh, implementing svm for regression related work right so what will be for knife bias so fit c classification okay n b okay fit c n b is the function and if you simply write help fit c n b you will be getting the detailed documentation related to our naive bayesian classifier right so what will be the program here very simple so clc clear all close all warning off okay first we are going to read one data which is social networking ad data set which i have used earlier also in my previous videos let me just show you the data once so if i just write evaluate selection data so see here data is having user id gender age estimated salary and purchased so we are going to choose these two feature age and estimated salary and based on that we are going to predict whether a particular product the user has purchased or not okay so this is no doubt one classification problem if we just simply write unique of data dot purchased okay here sorry p capital see only two distinct classes not purchased and purchased are present right so classification problem binary classification so first step we have to standardize our input feature so for age and estimated salary what we will be doing we will be taking that particular all the values present in age column and estimated salary we will be subtracting the column mean and divide by the standard deviation of the column that's all and we will be putting that column value in the age and for estimated salary we will be doing the same so this is what we have done this is nothing but correct feature scaling okay then here see classification model equal to fit cnb is the function we are passing our data and here we are writing the formula how the formula has to be written so this is our output okay purchased or not this particular column so this one we have to predict and this symbol is indicating this one uh, left side we have to predict based on this right hand side as input feature okay age and estimated salary so we are writing plus as we generally do then here we are this particular part again we are doing for only visualization purpose i am not explaining this particular part because this is same like how i have discussed the visualization for our knrs neighbor model right as simple as that so let's now run this whole code and let's see how knife bayesian model works on our data okay so you can see here this is our visualization so this red one is basically pupil belonging to not purchased category that is they have not purchased the product and this site is belonging to uh, uh, people who have purchased the product right so point to be noted obviously there are some misclassifications is happening some red points are coming in this region but see most of the points are classified properly and this model is quite smooth okay i hope you can understand right see how smooth the model is so this is one of the very important point for our naive bayesian model okay very smooth boundary you will be getting like knn we have got some uh, boundary which is not at all smooth rapid changes there but this you will not be observing in naive bayesian model due to how 
it works what is the internal algorithm uh, i have already discussed so based on that here we are getting smooth boundary right so i hope you have understood the simple implementation code and data set link will be obviously provided in the description box or in the comment section if you want you can just take from there and play around this and i will strongly suggest you to go through this particular documentation of fit cnb function okay what are the um, custom parameters we can pass how we can modify the code how we can change the visualization all these things are given i'll be discussing some important properties in my upcoming video so i hope you have found this video helpful if you like this video then please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon share with your friends and please like and share your thoughts in the comment section thank you